Oh, hello everyone, and welcome back to Dice Goblin. So, we're gonna hopefully wrap up, no, we're we're wrapping up the longest one shot, um, and haven't caught up with everything else that's happened, um, I'm just gonna cover what happened in the last session, so after successfully pulling a heist at the college, getting the materials they needed, making some bombs, Capturing some rodents and preparing for a massive ex amount of explosions, they went ahead and decided to break the castle right then, right there, that night. And they proceeded to go ahead and explode some of the city and get into um castle. And now they have infiltrated the castle grounds. Um and then have actually gone into the castle and the other three have been interrogating um, the performers who are there for the king's coronation ce celebration the following day and that's where we left off except for man my brain is not with me right now Vask Ask was on his way to capture somebody who started off right away. And that's where we left off. Oh, oh yeah. And we I had a uh, turret strapped onto a giant spider at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't have the old initiative chart. I don't know where I put that. Oh. You just want to re-roll it? Uh, we can either re-roll it, or we can just take this and, um, because we were kind of mid-combat, weren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, let's just re-roll. What's that? Oh, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> Someone was in combat, but everyone else wasn't. Yeah, it was, uh, me and Kith met. We were in, like, the castle. Yeah, and we were like intimidating two guys, and one of these two guys did not back down. Right. Yeah, he was kind of like a badass. Yeah, like we might have bitten off more than we can chew. That's why we got the flamethrower. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna fucking abandon you with the flamethrower and just you run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, you let's know, go ahead and re roll the initiative. Door. So, just so you know, I'm not a moon druid. If I get hit once, it's probably going to pop me out. Oh, sick. <laughs> it's going to flop out of me. <laughs> You're still going to have a flamethrower on you, though. Oh, would it still be on my back? Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe. I don't know. What do you think, Art? Would, would it still anatomically it, it, be, it, like, on my... It would still be, like, on your back, but it probably yeah. would like, onto your back. Probably, like, like the Predator shoulder cannon? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, all, all right. right. All right. Uh, that's a 13 for me. Wait, sorry. 17. I need to add my bonus. Uh, 14. I got 15. Shit. Does anyone else need to roll for initiative? Yeah, we we all yeah, do. Yeah, 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 we all do. Yeah, yeah, okay. I got like a, I got twenty three. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Nineteen plus four. God damn! And, we're and just Crunk needed Crunk. to go deal with something. Ah, so we'll fun. go ahead and go without him then. Yep. Yeah. We'll just yeah, we'll just put him last. Out. Yeah. Oh, there he is, Crunk. Oh. What did you get for initiative? Let me roll. Sorry, I did make sure the stove was off. <laughs> You're important. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty important. Uh, it's like like eight. You just see Kunik's house just go up in flames like live. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not have that happen. Ready. So I just gotta drop a couple of these. Nice. All right, Kithmet, let's fuck him up. Nice, oh, yeah. okay. And me, tag team, let's go. 
Watch them roll like two consecutive twenties on initiative. Oh, this guy ain't shit. We're not. I'm not even worried about him. He <laughs> rolls with like double advantage on all his attacks. Famous uh, last five words. You're gonna lose your fucking peg leg. Yeah, <laughs> he's got he's got like legendary <laughs> actions and shit. He he's already in for a rude awakening with that peg leg. He's got how many people after it? <laughs> oh god, I'm getting that fucking oh, leg. Sorry, my initiative was thirteen. I thought I was plus two, but I'm plus five. Oh, okay. Um, oh, shit. Kithme and Frank and... <clears throat> um, 11. I'm an idiot. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I keep messing it all up. <laughs> okay, anyway. In that case, Rumble. Top of the round. What? You... What? Okay, so... I know that I know for a fact that it's taking them like forever to come out of the come out of the place, mm. and I've already got like Zask looking out here for the thing, so like I might as well go into the castle, right? Yeah, if you can get in. Well, remember you Is guys the... were trying to get into the castle. Oh, you there's no, there's no like easy end. There's no like open door. Right. Wait, no, isn't the front door like literally on fire after what happened? No, yeah, no. Okay, the, no, was, no. The, that was the, the gate. exterior gate. I oh, mean, there's God. nothing. There's pretty much nothing I can well, do then other than like wait for Zask to catch the guy. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait. If there's any, if anyone comes in though, I'm gonna hold my action to to shoot. Okay. Pew. pew. Oh, yeah. And the guy, the like main guy, he's still trying to in with you and be like, listen, we'll, we'll give you what money we've got, but you gotta let it my I, people. I out. want something very specific, and if you guys can help me look for it, we can all get this situation under control very quickly, especially since there's so many of you, eh? And you can see people are concerned, and they're like muttering amongst themselves. Um, if you want to go ahead and make try me... something with the fight? If you want to make me um, <laughs> out of perception, persuasion check? Persuasion? That's not, probably not good. I said that about Wouldn't everything. it be intimidation? Because, like, I, I mean, there's an implicit threat that he's going to shoot somebody. I mean, yeah, you know my mean? intimidation like, is plus four. Yeah, my like, persuasion is plus yeah. one. So, I mean, I'm okay with rolling <laughs> persuasion. It makes sense. But, like, if I can't roll intimidation, I will. It, it's up to you. It's up to you how you want to deliver yeah. that. Uh, I mean, I already delivered it. It was it was very not intimidating. <laughs> I was just talking, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's not that terrible. Point. I mean, it's a that's an awful at all. It's a fourteen plus one, fifteen. Ooh. Oh, so um, you actually see there's a couple of guys. that look like they must be like strong men or something. They they kind of give each other these furtive looks and actually follow after Zask, kind of up and around through the tent. I see. And now we're going somewhere. There we go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stick these two down to the bottom. All right, and ask. So as you can see ahead of you, this guy has like lifted up the tent um, flap and dashed inside. And you were chasing after him, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna follow directly into the flap. Uh, and yeah. What do I see? Uh, so when you first enter, you can actually see. There are some rudimentary, like, um, hands placed around, and it, we're just going to say that this tent has been magically imbued. It's larger on the inside than what it should be, just from perspective of when you were first going up to it. Um, like, when you first see it, it's about the size, maybe a little bit larger than one of those really big pavilions at a park, but when you get inside, it's, like, huge, and... This guy is dashing as fast as he can, um, trying to get to the other side of the tent. Uh, it's going to be larger than what this map is right here. Um, we're going to just uh, say he's kind of looking behind and not just seeing if you were actually chasing him. And when he does see that you are coming after him, he's going to try to hasten his pace. He's just working on getting away. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna be tailing this guy. Yeah. <laughs> see where he's going. <laughs> oh, I see him on the map. He looks like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is the big bad evil guy. Zask. <laughs> this is the this is the big bad evil guy. Uh, fuck him um, up, Zach. <laughs> yeah. 
we found him at last. We're we're gonna just we're just gonna go ahead and say that the guy he working his way maybe to the other side of the tent. You can see there's also like a portioned off area where probably like their backstage. Um seeing that's where he's going. Um, you can also see there's like a ring in the center and there are some um, like juggling balls and even some like big balance balls that they're probably doing tricks and stuff on. Are there right. people doing tricks like right now? Like No, 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 no. Like uh, <laughs> this is for tomorrow. And so it's just sitting there ready for tomorrow. Maybe they were practicing earlier in the day. Hmm. Um, so if you want to like do... really dedicated to the show that I like, <laughs> still go with we know there's the fire and everything for like the millionth time and he's like I'm gonna get it right I'm gonna get it right and then Zass pass right under him and he trips <laughs> be, that'd be my luck <laughs> um, so you're just gonna dash after him yeah I think I'm just gonna tail after him and see where this guy's okay. going So. Well, We'll return to you to. Wait, how you, fast you're... does he dash? Doesn't he have like improved movement speed? Yes, technically. What, what's your speed, by the way? It's mine's is forty feet, but I'm pretty sure that I'm just gonna watch. I, I'm more like trying to see where this guy's going. Maybe, maybe he'll lead me to the place. Okay, okay. Because if you wanted to, you could dash, and you would be really close to getting him. Yeah, I think yeah, I could. I probably could just catch up to him, but uh, hmm. I'm he'll mostly... be like right on his heels, and then we'll just pick up um, after his after the all around. Yeah, or you can just watch, or you can just hold your action. It's up to you. Yeah, I'll I'll stay close, basically. Okay, you dash you you cut that distance at those short stubby legs, and he is just. Huff it, but we'll return. Although, you are on the spider, or were you at the top of the stairs? I can't remember. Uh, I was right next to the spider and like pointing the turret at this guy, just kind of like okay. threatening him. And then, like, he uh was having none of it. Yeah, he was just like, I will. I don't remember what he said. He said, I ain't no bitch. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I, I think it was, I fear no man. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, will, I, I will fear no threat or something along those lines. Yeah, yeah. and then he threw um, his uh, sword away. He tore off his uh, sleeves, and then he just got his fist ready. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, All um, right. Uh, oh, uh, see there. this he, guy. By the way, yeah. um, so this guy, his armor—you can tell it's ornate, but you can see in the glint of the candlelight. Uh, overhead chandelier uh, there it's gotten some use in um have mm. been has seen battle before oh so, and been like repaired mm. okay so, so we're I'm stealing gonna, this after yeah <laughs> i'm gonna try my best not to betray how afraid i am of him <laughs> and i'm just gonna kind of like point my gun in his direction and i'm gonna say all right buddy here's the deal I'm going to give you two options. Option number one, you get to go home, you get to see your wife and kids. Option number two, I make you explode. I know which option I prefer. Which one do you prefer, buddy? You're going to make me... Is that intimidation, I guess? Can I I help him? Yeah. I just want to make a guttural, chittering screech. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Like, like your mandibles, just yeah, just, yeah. Oh. All right, this is the little yeah, last that, that chance. Helps. Yeah, uh, I feel like the original role would be. I'm gonna go ahead and put like self-imposed disadvantage on the original role because I'm like cowering and I'm tiny. Okay. Uh, but then we could go ahead and just make it a straight roll with Kithmet's help. Right, yeah. That works. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll run with that. That's cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, that's going to be... Alright, that's going to be a 12. What's my intimidation bonus? Uh, that's just 12. (laughs) Be afraid of me! Hey, it's above average. You say that out loud. Cower in fear! It's above average. 
Um. There it is. So uh, with him, right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> with the, you, you can see that <laughs> he's just he's scowling. <laughs> he, like, I have faced worse threats than you. Or than than you in this beat. You don't. Um. Oh, you cut out for a bit there. Yeah. I have faced worse threats than you and your beat. Uh, uh, he's he, gonna make another, like, <laughs> shittering <laughs> sound. Let the flamethrower go off in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Just to look really metal. Like, I stand up on my hind legs and kind of do that. And then, like, the flamethrower goes off fine. Cool. All right. And then the title of the boss oh. monster appears, and then my health bar shows up. Go ahead and, uh. <laughs> go ahead and. Uh. Go ahead. Make the attack with the. Whatever the spell, the fire cannon. I, I just picture okay, you like, um, holding it like a turret. I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the flame turret on Ku on uh, not Kudik on Kithrix's back. <laughs> I almost said on Kudik's back. Uh, oh. I'm gonna go ahead and use the flame turret then. Uh, that's going to be it shoots flame in a 15 foot cone. He needs to make a deck save or he takes 2d8 fire damage. There's two guys, right? There are two guys. There's two uh, guys. He, he didn't and... move. <laughs> but he was surrendering. We're just going to light him on fire. Yeah, anyway. The other guy just had, like, his hands up. Um, oh, shit. Well, he's going to be in the cone. <laughs> hey, you, oh, surrender. No. Sets him on fire anyway. <laughs> um, so the... Surrender. The... Lights him on fire. Refuses to elaborate. <laughs> the guy in the armor, he has made a save. The... Other individual. Oh design. god! What do you what do you roll? Uh, a six. Oh, good. what the did first, the guy the in the armor guy? roll? Nineteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That that beats it. So uh, he's so gonna take half, half damage. damage then. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'll go ahead and roll the two d eight. Uh. Okay. That's gonna be ten. So he takes five. Nice. All right. But now we are not uh, making friends with this guy. Sorry. So, so the the other guy <laughs> is definitely uh, taking some damage. How much? It was ten. Um. Oops. Don't commoners have just ten HP? Yeah, just about. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy just ignites his robe. Must have been made out of something that was very. <laughs> Uh, maybe he had a lot of perfume on or something. He's, yeah, he was, he's, he's, he's like he's falling, falling, falling down. Up. He's like falling down the stairs, and uh, the guy in the armor, bastard! I was the prince. <laughs> oh shit! I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know he was the prince. I thought he was just some dude. Well, I thought he just got out of the bath. Holy shit! Uh, we're done. It's, uh, it's over. This was not supposed no to be more. an assassination attempt. It'll just well, fight. time to mop up loose ends. Sorry, Maldo, you gotta go. <laughs> oh, Kithmit, right? Okay, I'm just like full panicking now. Did you? And that's gonna be end of my turn. So, like, the two of you make an attack at once, right? Technically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some of my eyes dart towards Maldo, seeing him panic, and then they the other eyes then turn, looking at the uh, guy in front of me, and I'm just gonna pounce. So, let me double check been a little bit since I opened up the sheet. Giant wolf spider. I can't right. believe Krunk killed the prince. <laughs> <laughs> that bastard. <laughs> so oh, oh no. <laughs> we hear from outside. It's like muffled through the cobblestone. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try to bite him. I got a 22 on the roll. Oh, nice. And uh, that hits. And he is going to take. It's not a lot. It's a D6. And I rolled the worst. Okay. You guys need to frame this as like a murder suicide. <laughs> that night yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> night took out the prince. <laughs> so uh, I think. Now stab him in the chest. 
Exactly. I think my, my damage he lit himself is on the same fire. as the, the creature. I so I so, only yeah. do two piercing. Ouch. Nice. A little, little, little pinprick. So I, I kind of nick him a bit. And uh, uh, he's going to take... Oh, wait, no. He has to make a DC 11 constitution saving throw uh, against poison. I have a feeling this guy's going to be a lot tougher than we're equipped for. <laughs> DC 11. Please roll two. That, that's 11. Fuck. Oh. Is that half damage, or...? I think it's nothing. Let me double check. Okay, no, no, it's half as much. Okay. Okay. Sick. We're on a roll. <laughs> Seven damage, let's go. <laughs> Alright. Oh! Uh... This is probably really good. Uh, one second. It is... 2d6 for the poison. I rolled 6 and 5, so that's 11, but he only takes I, half, right? Uh, Round yep, it down, is, so he takes 5 damage. Nice. Cool. Alrighty. And just to reiterate, um, Kunik, did, were you 13 or 11 in initiative? Oh, I was 11. I'm sorry. I got okay. it wrong two times. Okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so this... I he's gonna go ahead and lash out at this massive spider in front of him. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, let's go ahead and see if we hit. All right. So 22 hit. It's going to be a real surprise. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Cool. We got to run. Yeah, that's <laughs> get the hell out of he's, here. He's going he's gonna to pull out. You know, he already had his sword, like, out. But he's just going to grasp grasp it with both hands and rah! And mm. as he does, he's going to deal 10 points of slashing damage. Um. Oh, no. And, and then... Gonna use his bonus action. Mm -hmm. Deal an extra oh. nine radiant damage. Okay, so uh, uh, that that smack uh, immediately the spider curls up and Kithmet pops right out from it, and he's a little oh. like, Ooh. <laughs> so the spider's <laughs> gone. Oh no! <laughs> and the spider, yeah. I guess, falls back on my shoulder, right? Yeah, like yeah, you're just, you just like on your shoulders. You'd be like wearing it as a yeah. You'd be like wearing it as like a backpack yeah. with it like poking over your shoulder. So Kithmet kind of does like a like like he's ruffled. <laughs> he kind of dusts himself off. <laughs> Boned. What? Oh, oh! I said we are boned. Oh. oh. I <laughs> <seen that. laughs> Oh no, we're we're, we're no, I heard that too. last one. As in fucked. You hear off in the in, in like the distance. <laughs> um I, I, that's gonna be it for uh, Kith Met and Maldo, I believe. Punk. Because the Duh. other MP uh, prince has died. Um <laughs> oh. I can't believe so, Crunk killed him. Oh, Son of a bitch. She Unbelievable. Was a monster. Horrible. All right. Well, since I'm on a murder spree, um, <laughs> this since this, I just finished killing the prince. I mean, might as well. Do I know? Do I know the guy that Zask is chasing? I, I'm just gonna say yes. How far away is you, he from me? You're in the tent. You're on the outside of the tent. How far away is he though? Uh, let's just say like 15 feet into to get into the tent, and then from there. It's magically imbued, so it's farther, but if, what's your speed? It's 30, Score. but um, I can also rabbit hop 15 more feet. Yeah, so if you use That's that, adorable. do that, uh, <laughs> it's, you it's... you can, like, be cha be tailing Zask. All like, right, I am going to move in this direction, but I, I need to clarify. So, the rabbit folk have moved out of Arcane Arcana as of last week. I don't know the name of the official race, but the biggest change was to rabbit hop. Before it sucked. Now it's actually pretty good. So yeah. I'm actually gonna use it. <laughs> Alright. Let's um, do. 
And that you, takes an action, or it's is a bonus, it a bonus action. action? It's a bonus action. Nice. While you're moving, you can rabbit hop five times your proficiency bonus spaces. So for me, Ooh. that'd be 15. Oh, shit. Before, it was roll a d12 and move that many feet. So this is five times, 50, or five times your proficiency feet. So it's much better. Much better. Yeah, definitely. All right, I'm going to move into the tent then. So I don't know which direction I need to move for that. So I'm guessing just like um, here. It's that blue shape. Okay, so I'm here. All right. Yeah. How far away are they from me now? Um, let's just say if you used your bonus action and dashed, you could be like right there, right, like pay in pace with, with ask. Um, would I be in range at that point in time to hammer him? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Let's get it hammered, boys. Duh! <laughs> I, wait. So, is he attacking like the dude who I think might lead me to the to the to the to the net? The guy that's ass chasing. <laughs> I held my action, right? Uh, yes, you held your action. Yeah, I held my action. I see him trying to attack the guy. Like the only thing. Wait, that's wait, gonna... wait, but he's in the tent. Is he still? Wait. Oh, they're they're in the tent. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, never mind. Yeah, they're about like this close from getting kneecapped. <laughs> ah, damn. Well, look. Uh. All right. Before I've been going for headshots. In this case, I'm kind of like jumping in with my rabbit hop, and I'm gonna like try to sweep his legs with my my hammer. Ooh. So nice. I don't know. I don't know if I can trip him with that, but we'll see. Uh, let me roll to hit. To open open him up for future yeah. headshots. Yeah. <laughs> There's like this idea of this little bunny's just like hopping towards him and just fucking kneecaps his ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. like... Well, if I, could, I could, if I couldn't get in range, I was going to try to use my sling to shoot him in the, in the legs instead. So that works. It's like Peter Rabbit turns into right. like a glory kill from Doom. Yeah. Roll. <laughs> Two hits. <God> damn. <laughs> Does a ten hit? <laughs> oh. Crunk, you have so, like, bad rolls all the time. Shut up. God. As, you're, as you're like hopping along, getting really close, and you and he just is very nimble on his feet. Mm -hmm. just, just quickly steps over the hammer like as it's about to okay. hit him. Yeah, unfortunately that was the rabbit hop was a bonus action, so that is it for my turn. Um can Bilbo Baggins looking motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so next, um, there are these two strongmen, and they are coming in um, the same direction that Zask came in over here. I'm not gonna put them on the map. They're like they're coming after. They're more so not dashing. They're kind of just watching to see where um, the midget is gonna go now. Um, and with that. So the halfling completely whiffed on his initiative roll. <laughs> and rips. As he got a natural one, so he is gonna be thrown on the ground, just kind of crawled out. Um I'd like to imagine he jumped over my axe and then fell on the landing. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like almost badass <laughs> so like he's gonna use his action to get back up and he's gonna try to scurry as far, far as he can but he can't really get he lost all that momentum so he's not really even super fast and just kind of gonna turn and be like I'll give you anything you want but not what I have but, but not what he wants. <laughs> I'll give you anything. But... <laughs> Let me rephrase that. <laughs> the negotiator. <laughs> ah, yes. The negotiator. Yeah. <laughs> give me anything else. Take this guy's lunch money. Oh, yeah, can we beat him up? Can Shut we respond? Yeah. Or Hell we... yeah. Can we respond or do we need to wait for a turn for that? Um, go go ahead and respond. Just just for like I'm not gonna have any rolls until you're round, but go ahead and respond if you want. 
Give us the artifact. You tell him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ask. Do you have trying to be intimidating with that? By the way, for when I can't roll. Okay. What what the little guy said. <laughs> Duh. All right. We will return to that. Rumble. Oh, you can see. Um. Rabbit Man has dashed into the tent. They're like way out of my range, right? They're like way out. Yeah, like, they're, they're in this like... tent. The tent's huge. Magic. Okay. Well, I'm, I still don't have anything to do. There's no guards left, right? Everyone's everyone's dead. Um, there's two in there. The, there's two in view of there you, right? Are, are, there they, are? are they attacking me or are they coming towards me? Or are they doing anything? Like, what are they? Can I there make a perception check? There are some check? guards, but yeah, make a perception check. That is great. I won't use that Let's as just your take... action. Okay, great. Does it take my bonus action? I want my action yeah. surge. Oh, jeez. Oh, well. I don't know what's up with me today, but I'm rolling well, well, well. <laughs> uh, oh, perception bonus isn't great. 18. Okay. So you can note, you notice that there are some guards still running around. None of them seem to be noticing what you're doing. They, they might even assume that you're part of the um, performers that are down in that group. Because they seem to be running along the walls, um, trying to call out orders and figure out who's still around, figuring out why there are dead folk on the walls, trying to put out fire. Um, you can also hear there are like alarms going, like that alarm bell from the church um, mm. earlier. That's going on uh, mixed with there's people now out in the streets here th or. People in carts and stuff going about. They're trying to put out the different flames that you guys started throughout the city. Um, but you don't notice that there's any guards actually there getting ready to come in. Come Can I look for the guards that are uh, that are in my Order 66 pocket? Yes. Um, one Sweet. of them is actually up on the wall just standing and watch. It, and he's just like, it will be done, my. Oh, I thought, I thought you, I thought you said it would. <laughs> he was dead. I was like, oh, well, dang it. No, no, no. He, he's standing and watching. Uh, okay. For one of them, you're not sure about the others right now. Uh, can I like signal? Do we have like a signal? I want him to start. I want, I want to get the show on the road. Let's get, let's get out of here. Start, right, let's, let's start getting ready let's, to get out of here. Yeah, let, let's say you um have something in, in place ahead of time. Uh, like, does he do like the wave? What do you want to do to demonstrate your? I just do like a, I just do like a couple of like I'm assuming the these can't has like sign language elements, so I just do some sign language. Oh, and this guy he like touches. At, what what was it like a streamer or not not a streamer? It was a type of material on his collar as like a gotcha a streamer. Oh, oh! I actually, you know, what? I do this from, uh, from I do, I just do a little like nose, uh, nose tap from, um, from the sting to signal. Nice. Nice. And Sweet. with that, that guard is making his way to one of the towers where he can descend and get ready for your exit. All right, sweet. Do have I used my action for anything? Um, I'll let you do an action. Uh, let's say uh, your. Bonus I will. Action I will hold you. my action, my bonus okay. action attack with no proficiency. <laughs> Um, so Zask, at the guy in front of you, you kind of reiterated uh, what Krunk shouted, and this guy holding his hands up, but it's not really a I surrender, it's just kind of a, like a warning, a little bit. Uh, let me see, I'm trying to, I'm not really good at intimidating uh and he's he's only 15 feet away from you and he's he's just down on the is he prone or is he... he he used his action to get up okay oh. um i think i'm just gonna ready in case he starts moving but i'm gonna uh talk and say uh just tell us where the artifact uh, let me do my voice just tell us where the artifact is dude <laughs> I I don't know what you mean by artifact. <laughs> I got it from 
an arsonist. <laughs> and it's our man. You gotta beat the shit out of him now. It's a oh, man. <laughs> Break some fingers. <laughs> Get <Yeah>. him, Zask. <laughs> Get him. Uh, let me see. Uh, 15 feet. I, mean, I could just pummel this guy to a pulp, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see what's the best way. Do you like I... the Ip Man when he's on the floor and just do the face punches? <laughs> <laughs> We have fired our way through all this stuff, and I know that the next guy next to me is not going to be so nice. So, <laughs> uh, I'm chaotic. Good, thank you very much. <laughs> you kind of fucking fooled me. There's a lot of and blood this is on them. chaotic. <laughs> yeah, everyone's got blood on them for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All evil in our own special way in this party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna ready my action. Uh, uh, if this guy tries to move while the other guy does anything, I'm just gonna start charging after him. <laughs> okay. I will let you do that. Maldo and Kithman. Mm. Uh, would you like to go first? Uh, I went first last time. You go ahead and go first this time. All right. Yeah, I don't think we're connected anymore now that I fell off and wait, you yeah. wait, oh shit, did he fall off me? No, he I wasn't I, never I, on I, you. He was like you. ending oh, okay. next to you yeah. and gotcha. just grabbed onto the turret and <laughs> All right. yeah. Flame. Awesome. Uh so, uh, so uh, we're we're independent now. Okay. Yes. We're strong, independent furries. Let's do it. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate everything about you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so what Kithmet's gonna do? Um, he reaches into his pouch. He's going to pull out a uh, shamrock leaf, which he then kind of uh, 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 places alongside a mistletoe onto the ground. He twirls the staff over, and he cracks it onto the floor. And the staff uh, kind of elongates as he casts Shillelagh. Nice. And it gets this kind of like emerald hue over it. And he then twirls the staff over, and he's going to run over towards this guy, and he's going to fucking beat him up with the bonk stick. And you get advantage thanks to pack tactics. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. First time so I've remembered I'm a kobold and have pack tactics. <laughs> <laughs> I know when the so, actual, like, YouTuber pack tactics um, gets around to watching this, he's going to hate me for never using it. <laughs> know, right? He says it's, like, yeah. his favorite ability. Yeah, shout out what? to Pack Tactics. Go ahead, yeah. make your attack. So with Shalele, uh, my attack is now a D8. And I can use my spellcasting ability instead of strength. Oh, nice. For attack and damage rolls. So I believe that's a plus four. So this is a plus seven on my roll. 22. Cool. So, and, and that's going to be... That... Oh, shit, a max roll. So... 8 plus 4, that's 12 bludgeoning damage. That definitely hits. At this point, as I'm, like, coming over, like, swinging this thing, he then, uh, just as he smacks him across, uh, these, like, uh, there's, like, a kind of cloud that begins to surround him, and I have a halo of spores, uh, but I'm not gonna be using it just yet. That's just gonna be there for now, and that's gonna be my action. So it'd be like this, like cloud of a bunch of these little, like black, like uh, uh, spores, just kind of hanging in the air around him. Um. You control when they activate, right? Uh, it's gonna be a reaction. Um, oh. on his turn. Okay. And I think I just. Yo, he just has to make a DC 15 con save at the start of his turn. Nice. Hell yeah. And if he uh, fails, that... he takes a D4 necrotic. Aldo. Okay. Uh, you, so, like, you... you. At first, I hit this guy really well, and he... Ah! He just kind of takes a step back, and you can see that mm. you've imprinted 
pretty well into his armor, like big dent. Hmm. Um, that kind of like twirls the staff like like a Jedi or some shit. <laughs> oh, Maldo, go ahead. Okay. Um. So I'm in full panic mode. I'm hyper hyperventilating. Uh, and I'm just like, hey, I was the only kid when I said I'd make you explode, buddy. I <laughs> was just joking. <laughs> this is all a huge misunderstanding, and I'm gonna cast heat metal on Ooh, his nice. armor. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I go ahead and break open my gun, put him this glowing like orange shell, and I just like shoot his armor with heat metal. Oh, that's brutal. Uh, Awesome. When like it, it kind of like splashes against his armor and like this molten magma and like clings to his chest and like heats up the metal. Uh, so that's total just flavor. That's not actually how it works. But uh, is it like glowing right now? Like, cause, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I made a shell that like heats up metal. Is like the mm. idea. Um. I don't think heat metal even has a save. I think it just happens. Yeah, yep. it just happens. It just happens. I used a oh. party member a couple Good. days ago. <laughs> Sick. Good. Last well, campaign, in that case, he's bro. just yeah. He just keeps he's hitting just... him until he takes it off. Yeah, he's just taking two d eight fire damage. So that's going to be so uh, five minutes. He takes seven fire damage from that. Well, he he's taking uh, the damage until you lose concentration. Yeah, until uh, until he fucks me up, which he will. Last seven session, damage. Uh, he takes seven damage, and then I'm going to run away. Yeah, and you're running back up the stairs. Yeah, I am running back oh. up the stairs while yelling into my ear pace, Zask! Zask, <laughs> help! And I, I kind of picture that you're, like, on the other side of the Um, so that way he, he wouldn't get a provoked back, I believe. Uh... Okay, so no attack of opportunity from him? I'm double checking. Okay. It's like, I was... I don't know if I was in, like, melee range of him. If I was and I'm leaving, then he would. Which I'm more than willing to take the attack of opportunity, because Maldo's stupid and would get smacked in the back of the head like that. Oh, his reach is only five feet, and... Or you were, like, on the other side of Kithmit. Oh, if Kithmit moves, that, that would provoke a attack um, okay so i'm just gosh. gonna run up the stairs and i'm just, like yelling into my earpiece like zask zask things are bad things are <laughs> real bad they're all right um, over here oh thanks thanks buddy <laughs> not gonna tell me found oh. the guy <laughs> his turn he's cussing to himself as he's burning oh and at the start of his turn uh make a dc 15 con save Yes. That is only a ten. Gotcha. And he takes two necrotic damage. Nice. So I imagine he's like coughing as like the spores yeah. are kind of wafting in his direction. Wait, 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 real quick, DM. Was me talking to Zask, was that my bonus action, or would that be a free action? I'll, I'll let that be a free action. It wasn't, um... It wasn't, like, a whole string of a conversation. It was just a quick, <laughs> you know, roleplay moment. Um, okay, well, in that case, I'm gonna give him another squirt of my flamethrower. Yep. <laughs> from the back of uh, Kithmet. Uh, as uh, a would bonus you be action, able to reach so... that? No, no it, it's, it, uh... I, I control it remotely. Oh, nice, nice. See, he gets his little yeah, remote. Yeah, Yeah, my little detonator remote. Like, oh, Boston um, Dynamics robot made out of trash. How, how much damage have me written on it? Uh, he's got to make a saving throw of 14 or better, or take another 2d8. And half that damage failed. on a success. Okay, so he's going to be taking a full 2d8 fire damage. Uh, that's going to be a 11 fire damage. Cool. And then that's going to be my turn. Oh, he's coughing. He is covered in burns, both on the inside of his skin, of his armor and on the outside. And see, he's gritting his teeth. 
Um. Are you sure that we're not the worst things you've ever fought? <laughs> this is pretty fucking bad. Listen. Uh, he, he is just like he's trying to uphold his honor and he is just gonna attack Ithmit who's standing in front of him. Um same deal. That is That was a 19 hit. A uh, 19 hits. Yeah. Oh, that is another 19 damage. Oofta. Um, so let's see. I have 33 hit points. Take 19. Oop. Number luck. Alright, I'm down to 14. That fucking hurt. So oh, Kithman no. desperately tries to like pull up his buckler. Trying to block off the attack, but he he gets a he gets a hit in. You guys need to Anakin him next round. <laughs> <laughs> like just finish him off. You, you can see oh. like his hair is like burning off. His scalp is is exposed in a part, and like his Ugh. lips are dried and chapped. He he's looking pretty rough as is. Um, you, you can act, Kithmit can actually hear though. Down below, there's some scurrying of feet. Um, like, somebody in, might be wearing armor, working their way up the stairs to check out the commotion going on. We gotta go. Um. Oh, God, we gotta go. That, that brings us back to Krunk. <laughs> so, Krunk, in front of you, you see the... the he's not a gnome. Oh. The halfling. Um, just kind of standing there, a little bit of jazz hands going on, and he's like, I'll give you anything else you want, but I gotta keep this thing. Duh. And you, you, you yelled at him, give I'm us gonna, the artifact. I'm gonna make an amendment to that. Duh. You know, there I come from, we have a saying. In Supilat Klunka, deer do not hunt you. Be hunt the deer, and today you are the deer. So you will give us everything, <laughs> or my friend here will pelt you with carrots. I have thousands of them here. I give you like a carrot. <laughs> it's like you're, you're stoning giving, you're giving Zask a carrot, carrot, right? I'm giving Zask a carrot. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know what's at him. Show them we mean business. <laughs> uh, yeah, you I'm, held your action, so you you can do that if you want, Zask. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw the carrot at the guy. <laughs> well, make, make an improvised weapon attack. A reminder that this is a man who could throw back a bullet with the same force that it was shot at him with. <laughs> yeah. Quick question: it, like through uh, his head. His carrots are darts, right? Can't Zask treat that as a monk weapon? I will allow Zask to, like, <laughs> as a react, like, his uh, monk reaction, because, because Krunk threw the carrot at Zask. You can, like, monk reaction and... <laughs> and counting it as catching a projectile. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. I love how stupid D&D could be. This is great. <laughs> Yeah, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's an 18. <laughs> cool. So you... If you want to describe how you manipulate this carrot into... Yeah, so as he's throwing the carrot, I catch it in midair and just shoot it at the guy. <laughs> <laughs> and as like it, like, hit nice. him on the shoulder... It's like, oh... Duh! We mean business! Why would you throw a carrot at me? That's Give us the artifact right and you now. will... You will... We will blot out the sky with the carrots if you don't give us the artifact! <laughs> uh, can I make my intimidation oh my check? <laughs> yes, yes, go ahead and make your intimidation check. Okay. I mean, I I carrot. Do you I think just... that's advantage? 
This biblical amount of care. <laughs> you got, you got help. <laughs> okay. So let's see. It's a plus six to whatever I roll. Oh yeah. Fifteen. Nice. Um. Ooh. Up the right one. This is like a direct result of your Twitch chat giving you like insanely high charisma for a barbarian. <laughs> yeah. Though thankfully, if I could take credit for anything, it's the fact that I hey, asked. Which, which, I wanted to have uh, a lot of carrots on hand. Hell yeah. How many did you uh, have? I have over a thousand carrots in my bag of holding. Oh my god. And it's not a blanket statement. We can literally pelt him all fucking day. <laughs> that, that intimidation does work. He, um. <sighs> Kind of, kind of, um, is looking back and he's uh, reach casually into his, um, waistcoat pocket and he pulls out this just normal looking stone. It, there's nothing remarkable about this stone uh, aside from, you know, it's oval shaped. It, it's got a little bit of, um, a crack running down it, but it looks like any other rock that you could find in a field or along a riverbed. Smart choice. And I take it. I want to take it. Um, with that though, he's not handing it over. He's still standing there. Um. Oh, you're gonna get another carrot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining Crunk making that same face. Just no, like... no, he, he's, <laughs> he's holding on to us. <laughs> He's holding on to the stone. It, you want to do... Man, I gotta... If it, like, intimidated him, but just barely, I'm trying oh. to determine what... I'm trying to see if he's got um, something else that he can do. Okay. Before I just... Oh, here you go. I can't remember all the crap. Like, we're doing, like, bad cop, like, good cop, bad cop, but it's just, like, bad cop, worse cop. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Crunk yeah, doesn't yeah. know what we're looking for, so he can pretty be easily be fooled. I don't know if this is what I'm, we're looking for or not, but I'll take it. He's just gonna accept it at face value, no matter <laughs> what. He hands you a I'll fucking apple, he's like, yeah, here you go, well, man. Uh, it's an art factor. <laughs> yeah. Um, with that... He is, um, gonna just take it and throw it behind him into the, the what, oh. what did I say it was, the backstage area? Um, just blindly throw it behind him. This um, motherfucker. Ah, so you've chosen death! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, get him! <laughs> He took my thing. <laughs> Get him! Get him! <laughs> Smash his fucking hand or something. Um, I don't know if what I've done right now has been... It's way more than a turn in terms of how long it took me to say all this shit. Can I walk up and smack him or is that it? Uh, go ahead. You, you can smack him. I'll let... He does the like the Palpatine. Floor, like... Right? Is that advantage? He, he's a, he is standing up. He used his action to not be prone. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me roll to attack. Crunk does like the Palpatine like spinning jump like <laughs> I, think I, I think I missed him hold on screw <laughs> exactly <laughs> it's freezing then <laughs> um, if there's anybody that could pull that off in this cast of characters it would be it'd Crunk, be crunk. <laughs> he bunny hops it oh okay so that is a 16 sorry I had plus 5 to my attack not plus 2 nice uh that I pull up the right. That hit. Okay. So, 1d6 plus 2 damage incoming. <laughs> yeah, that thing. <laughs> 3 damage. Nice. I, I really want that to be edited into the back. Vacuum and <laughs> it, it flies as you do. Um. Oh! I've yeah. warned you! And that's it. I can't believe he's taking more damage from a carrot than from a rabbit slap. <laughs> Wait, with the, the Warhammer? Wait, did the carrot oh. do more damage than the Warhammer? 
<laughs> oh shit! Did it do four damage? The carrot, right? I didn't see the damage we did. Yeah, I don't think he rolled it, but it would be oh. uh, because it'd be a monk weapon because it's a dart technically. Yeah. That's a D six plus whatever his Dex mod is, which is uh, pretty high. <laughs> yeah, I, actually, I didn't roll it. The B. Be... God. Just imagining damage then. By the way, that that the Soapy Rats Krunka joke, the Soviet Russia joke I, I made, I had been saving that for this entire campaign, and I'm like, I'm never going to get it in. I've got to work <laughs> in it somewhere. Oh, oh, there you go. I'm, I'm you glad you got your opportunity. Man. <laughs> yeah, DM already knew. Yep, it's four. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Um, using my premonition dick damage. Um, with that... Uh, the, the dude's just gonna, like, turn around, try to go and find the artifact that he threw. Um, that does provoke an opportunity attack. From Crunk. Oh. Is that just, like, a basic attack? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, because he's leaving, uh, your, uh, yeah. your zone. Fifteen. Your bubble. Uh, that does not hit. Oh, okay, so it's DC 16. Eight. I got the wrong. This halfling said, I, like, I, I, I think that's right. I, I, I think I, I've got three different sheets open, and I think I read one of the wrong ones. I, okay. I'm just going to say that does not. Okay. Um. Anyway. He, he's just turning around to go after and there's like a couple of flaps but they're open um and he's just running into that room with that the there were the two strong men they're coming up and being like did he give did he give you the thing one of the guys is asking he threw nope. the thing <laughs> Neat. um like pouting <laughs> <laughs> with Rumble um, you up? can see you were able to see that that guard who came down ended up going um, coming around and he ended up going to the front door of the castle um, and he did like a little special knock and after waiting, like, uh, let's, let's say 15 seconds, the door ended up opening, and you can see on the other side uh, is another one of those guards who it has that little sash on to represent that they're part of your group. Sweet. I just want um, to start moving. Also, can my, like, the, the can the strong men, like, just go into the backstage and start looking? There's, like, three of them, right? Cover yeah, but they don't... There's two of them. They don't know what they're looking for, though. Glowing rock. Someone tell them glowing rock. <laughs> oh, the yeah. strong men are on Crumble's dime? Oh, uh, no. no just, cr cr Crumble, Crumble threatened uh, performers that if nobody was going to help, he was picking it off. Oh, okay. Gotcha. These two guys were like, we're going to go. We're going to go help. So. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Gotcha. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Still holding my action till somebody does something dumb. Um, <laughs> <laughs> with that, I gotta roll and see. So you also, while you were sitting and waiting, you can hear that water is being dumped on the flames for the front gate. It, it wasn't a lot. It was only like two or three buckets worth. And then there's this pause. Um, you're Wait, guessing hold on. that... How, so they're they're still dumping water on the front gate, right? They're like in the middle of it. So have you seen Shadow and Bone? That scene where the guys like shooting the sign, and then everyone like looks at the sign that's getting shot, oh, and he's like, I just "Whoa, what? Recently. What happened? Oh my god, that's so weird." Can I try to shoot the bucket out of someone's hand, and just go, "Whoa"? <laughs> you, you cannot see <laughs> in like, that I, area. I can't because, see the bucket. Oh, I can't see them <sighs> because of the, the smoke. The smoke's still, still there. <laughs> Yeah, that, smoke, <laughs> that smoke lasts for 10 minutes. Oh, God. And, it ha and technically, round-wise, it has not 
Well, then, guess I'm guess I'm just waiting. Like Everyone thinks I'm just one of these normal people, so I'm just gonna um, chill out. <laughs> Nothing I can do. Can't make my way over to the tent too far. So I mean, I you. Yeah, there, there's, aside from that, nobody has come down. You can hear there are a bunch of guards top. Um, there's no, there's no other activity going on on the grounds. Themselves. Yeah, sweet. I'll just chill then. Right now. Just waiting it, for... It, seem, it seems that most of the ones that um, were In the meantime, already... Uh, this is how I've been imagining the strongman. Oh no! <laughs> I'm just chilling. <laughs> what, what steroids does to a guy? <laughs> oh, oh! It's so like not even steroids. That's like injecting your body with like just straight up like silicone. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Sorry for distracting everybody. Yeah. <laughs> um. Ozask, uh, the guy has dashed inside. Uh, just for simplicity, Zask and Krunk, both of you make me a... A what? Perception. Yeah, seven. You would think I would learn what all my skills are at this point. Um, okay. Three. Uh, what? All right, so yeah, ne neither oh one God, of you, <laughs> neither one of you, were able to see where this rock did. Just know it went behind the curtain. Ooh. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna follow the guy. All right, so as you go in, you can see the guy. He's like, get, there's a bunch of cots and stuff back there, and trunks and. Other um, things for later on. Um, and the guy is like dashing in and out. And he's trying to get to a specific area where he is like, like there's a cot three rows in. And he's like hurriedly wrapping up his bedroll and stuffing it into a backpack. Trying to make, make way to leave. He's not worried about the stone that he tossed. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna just start beating up this guy. <laughs> like, I'm gonna let Kronk look for the thing. I'm gonna beat the guy. Up. All right. Uh, so yes, you're able to quickly the make, make your way over to him. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm gonna be like, yeah, you're not going anywhere. You're gonna help us find this thing. We need to get out of here. So yeah, we're gonna just start. Sucker punch, basically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Grab him by the like. The yeah, that's cone. a twenty-three. Yeah, that that hits. <laughs> oh god. Grab him by his collar and then just start punching him in the face over and over and over again. Uh, with, yeah, that's with not. Yeah, you 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 hit him. Is that like a double strike or? Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't do the other one, but I did one okay. punch. <laughs> <laughs> um, roll intimidation with that. While well, Zaski is rolling, I just want to take the time to like point out the size difference between these two characters. <laughs> Zaski is like seven feet tall, and this halfling is like three to four feet tall, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this straight up looks like a grown man like beating up a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> what it looks like. Eat yeah, your you're... veggies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you engaging hit him in some hands-on just... parenting. <laughs> he just falls to the ground. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. I hope you look for it. He's, he's bleeding. Um, uh, he's willing to help look for this object um i lost face oh yeah okay 
Oh, Maldo and Kithmate. The uh, Maldo is up up along the stairway and basically into the hallway, right? Like I, I'm still like am able to see the guy. I haven't gotten like out of like vision of him yet, but I just like wanted to put some distance between me and him. Okay, okay. So you you stood like let's say at the top of the landing. You're just backed up. That way you can yeah. be involved. Uh, make me a perception check. Okay. Uh, that one fell off the table. Okay, this going to be a 16 plus my bonus. I think that's the first good perception check I've ever had. Uh, oh, minus one, so that's going to be a 15. So, as you are watching um, kind of the area, you can actually can see all the way down the stairway and the front door opens. And then there are two guards up the stairway. Um, both of them have this distinct yellow sash. I think it was yellow. I don't know. But they're they're coming up the stairway behind the paladin. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Um, he turns this... and looks at Maldo and says, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. we're just gonna go like back and forth between each other. It's like, oh shit, yeah, oh, oh shit. <laughs> um, are there any like particularly interesting pieces of garbage around me right now? Just like rubble? Uh, no. This, this is a very clean inside of the castle. Oh, anything like a if lighting? If you wanted to make some, ru- what's that? It's something I could pick up anywhere between one to five pounds. Uh, look- Let's say there's a vase with some flowers on a little table. Okay, so I'm gonna like uh, panic and like try to grab a shell off my like bandolier, but like I'm just like shaking too much to be able to grab a shell. So I say, fuck it. I just load the vase into my gun and I'm gonna cast catapult and I'm gonna launch the vase with the flowers full speed at the guy I've been shooting at. So I'm gonna. Just like, like a t-shirt cannon just thump, right at this guy with the vase of flowers. That's fucking uh, he's, brilliant. <laughs> he's also, gonna make a dexterity when, saving throw. When does um, heat metal trigger? On your turn or his? It, it's on his turn. Uh, uh, on on Waldo's turn? Yeah. I gotta do it as a bonus action. So, okay. and when I think about it, it's actually kind of like suboptimal because I can either use my turret or use heat metal. Both do pretty much the same damage. Maybe Except that metal heat. has no save, though, right? So right. Uh, I don't know if that's only for the first one or if any subsequent ones have. So he has to take it off. Oh, okay. So then, yeah, yeah heat metal yeah. would be the off, and then. Uh, um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and see if he makes his deck save first. It's going to be fourteen. It's my spell spell save. That is um not enough to pass. I just dome this guy with a vase full of flowers. <laughs> like, put out the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be 3d8. Oh, I... shit. Yeah, catapult's awesome. <laughs> uh, and I'm casting that at first level. So 3d8, so 4 plus 4 plus 2. Uh, that's gonna be 10. 10 points of, I believe, bludgeoning damage. So in your panic case, you load this face and you wildly get your gun ready, launch, and this face just dramatically soars through the air. It's flowers spilling out, the water cascading, and the vase just the solid crack across the guy's skull. I'm imagining and, the slow mo of like his like yeah. that, like as the vase hits him. And his eyes widen for a moment before you can see the life leave eyes and he falls backwards down the stairs. Did oh, I kill him? Sweet! <laughs> Wait, is he dead? Yeah. Oh my can god. Can I just like say can I just say that like 
I loaded the flowers into the gun and it like shot out with like such velocity, like a potato cannon. It just like obliterated his head. <laughs> like this is like basically yeah, so, uh, 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 rocketed in like <laughs> velo- like such a velocity that it just kind of like <laughs> just like. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and <laughs> like, holy shit! Holy shit! As you do, um, these other two guards they're coming up, and have fun with those guys. One of them. Ooh, uh, the uh, you still have a turn, right? Uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be my turn because uh, my heat metal guy is dead. Uh, one of them. Are you with Crumble? Who's asking? Uh, <laughs> we're sent to make sure that you get a speedy exit. Yeah. He turns, looks back towards Maldo, and he repeats those words: "Speedy exit." Yeah, yeah, we're we're with the goblin man, Crumble. You're here to help us, we could definitely use it. Shoot you in the head. No, we have no intention of shooting you in the head. I'm sure you're very nice people. Already shot him in the head. (laughs) Chester. You you don't want to fuck with me, I'm a dangerous man. (laughs) Um with that, they're gonna guide you out of the castle. Um Unless there was something else that you guys needed in the castle or wanted to do. Uh, I don't know. Kithmet, you want to go traumatize some more children? Hmm. I'm not a spider <laughs> anymore, unfortunately, so. Oh. Uh, the the charm uh, would be worn off. Now I'm just uh, a creepy, yeah. like, crow. Yeah, now you're just a creepy bird person. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. I guess, I guess we're done. That's fun. The yeah, we're done. will wear off. Yeah, we're done here. We don't want to be like a one-trick okay. pony. Actually, I'm going to go over towards one of the vanities, and I'm just going to, like, break the china in there. <laughs> just for good <laughs> Yeah, just wait, like... Wait, wait. <laughs> you descend the stairs, and there's this nice vanity, and it's full yeah. of... So, I like, as we're leaving, just... we're running out, and then I stop as I look at the vanity, and then we use my action to grab the vanity, just tilt it over, and then I'll just jump over it and keep going. <laughs> nice. Um, with that, so they're going to guide you outside. Um... <clears throat> And I'm just going to say simplicity with that you guys have thoroughly intimidated the guy who stole the uh, artifact as it was called and after a little bit of searching around you guys were able to find it. Um, he he pleads to let him have it because he's like it's perfect for my rock collection. But he, it, you guys end up taking it from him. It's not an immortal like soul sucker. It, <laughs> it just looks like a rock. It, it's it doesn't glow. Oh. Doesn't it glow like blue? <laughs> All right, it's just a rock. It, it's just a rock. Oh, that's per- oh wait, that's even better than this is. Okay, this is great. I'm gonna there, recognize no, it and be like, no it's just as beautiful as the day I lost you. There's no Art. glowing about it right now. I gotta say, Art, the way you just transitioned to this, you saved his life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was I was hoping we could... I was, a, I was about to oh, go okay, in there. okay, okay, well... At that moment, rage, we all just beat him up. In right? reckless rage, <laughs> so, so you in guys, divine you guys fury! Bring him, if you want, you can drag him out to crumble and... Uh, the of you can meet outside of the tent and um what I got the guy <laughs> oh hey you got Imagine him Zass just like dragging him by the leg you got the guy <laughs> wait is this the guy that stole it yep oh great great uh, uh, a, uh, uh, like, like all of you are meeting together outside of the tent a 16 so, like, hit? around the same time <laughs> yeah yeah okay uh so, uh, Ithmet and I, we, uh, accomplished a lot in the castle. It all? We, we sure, uh, did a lot to help with the heist. I, I imagine, I, like, <laughs> in the background, part of the castle, like, explodes. Yeah. <laughs> just, um, the also, yeah. 
Also, the prince is still very much alive. Uh, that's good. Good, good thing. <laughs> you wouldn't want. It's not like I it, look. Good, good news is, good news is, I'm, oh, I'm pretty much out of here. By the way, I did, I did 13 points of damage to this guy. I just, I, I, the second they said yes, I just <laughs> <laughs> just popped him. Yep. Uh, where, where are you shooting him? Just in the face. Or, or oh, does it kill him? Does it kill him? <laughs> oh no, he's very much. Al he's still alive. Yeah. Oh damn! He, he's got health. He's got oh, hell health. Then, I'm gonna oh, go ahead. He's bad. So he's like, ah. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Yeah. All yeah. right. So out of mercy, I'm gonna go ahead and light him on fire. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> all all Wait. these performers are still standing there, just <laughs> oh, back about. <laughs> what you guys are doing? So wait, he shoots him in the face. He lives. Well, I mean, I I still face, have I held my action right. Fire. My I have multi attack. Can I shoot him yeah. again in the face? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that that's even more to hit. Um, and right now, uh, Krunk has the artifact. Yeah, I've still got six bullets left. Uh, ten bullets left. I'm gonna... That's ma that's that's a zero. So I'm assuming that's a ten, ten plus plus uh, yeah, plus you, you, so, something. But plus as you do three, as, four. So as you as you kill him, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm imagining that South Park scene when the guy's trying to like shoot himself and it doesn't work, and he just keeps pulling the trigger <laughs> and he like empties the entire clip of himself. <laughs> like, oh, God. God. As soon as he's dead, though, the stone in Krunk's hand, it glows thoroughly blue. Very, very vibrantly blue. What? Oh. Throw with that is a corpse. <laughs> and it. <laughs> cool. Um. Oh, shit. Did I, did I ruin your plans, Art? <laughs> By throwing it? It just sucks his soul out, right? Uh, so the dude I might have done more up, than that. And <laughs> the dude ends up. <laughs> you can see all these wounds on his face, uh, like through his, the back of his head and stuff, are just closing and reshaping and reforming. In the stone, it's on him. Can I grab the stone? Uh, yes, but after the guy comes back to life and is just. <gasps> Bitchcraft! <laughs> I don't want to hit him with my hammer. Honestly, he's yours. Pick up the stone. I pick up the stone. I'm like, he's yours. You got him. Okay, <laughs> kill him again. <laughs> now I'm going to light him on fire. <laughs> again. While they're doing that, can I just be walking towards the, 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 the place where all my guys just, are? Just like smack yeah, the guy. Uh, well, the two, two knights are standing right there. Uh, sadly, one of, them, one of them went up in flames. Uh, one of them was on the gate. Oh god! Oh, and the other <laughs> one, the other one isn't stationed at the castle right now. They're out taking care of other fires. You got two with you. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm heading to wherever we're leaving. I'm just gonna start leaving. Uh, they they can take you right through the front gate. Sweet. Uh, awesome. I'm out. By, by now, uh, there's like that smoke has dissipated enough. Water has been put down. You you guys can sneak your way through the front gate. Um. You're just taking it and going. Yep, I'm leaving. I'm gonna start <laughs> enacting my plan. My plan B. Uh, or... Does is anybody else getting involved with? I'm killing the zombie right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Well, I'm yeah, killing everyone's him. killing him. <laughs> I'm out though. I'm, I got to kill him. I got to kill him once. I'm just there you go. The shit out of him until he doesn't get back up anymore. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm leaving. As, as soon <laughs> as soon as he d dies again, that stone. I don't know if Crumble has it out and a lot about, but it glows that bright, brilliant. I'm just keeping it in my pocket. My jacket. I'm gonna hide <laughs> the evidence of the guy we just brutally mauled, and then I'm gonna nice. <laughs> in front of these like 15 witnesses. <laughs> yeah. I'm you can see shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have tunnel visioned. I'm gonna empty half of my bag of holding of carrots over the body. <laughs> How many carrots was it again? It was over a thousand, so that's that's gonna be around five hundred carrots on his body. <laughs> it's just, it, it's just an endless. It makes like a small <laughs> mound of carrots, it, like enough for basically like three shopping carts, is what I would imagine. <laughs> well, that should be enough to hide him, right? <laughs> right? I'm gonna go okay. ahead and just like 
fist bump crunk and just be like, the perfect crime. <laughs> Nobody saw it! And I take one of the carrots out of the pile and start munching on it. <laughs> you see the guy's like hand peeking out of it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So so, we should probably get the fuck out of here. Yeah, at that yeah, point we're yeah. all running. I'm running. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where are you guys going? Following. Uh, we, do we have a meetup point? Yeah, like a rendezvous. I think like the hideout was our rendezvous. I'm heading back to the hideout. I don't know if yeah, I told you guys to do that. To I'm just gonna head there. back there for wrap up. Cool. Um, as you guys are going through the streets, you, you can see the multiple locations where you started fires. Um, the the main the side gate where the bird flew into has actually kind of diminished on its own. There wasn't enough material around to make a large fire. Um, the yeah, I think one... it was mostly structural damage because we just blew yeah. the fucking gate up, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then one where Krunk yeeted the rat into the middle of the street. It, it's burned a bunch of these hedge, this ornate hedge here, and there was some fire to one of the buildings, but they were able to put that fire out fairly quickly. Um, the hedges are really disheveled, and there are a bunch of um, people that work for the church that are out there. And all in a hubba 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 about it. Um, and this building, these this cluster of building though, they, it's just totally um, fucked. It, it's um, oh, we got to make the soldier big too. Apparently, it, th it's just it's gone. Um, there are a lot of soldiers out there. They're they're working on a fire brigade. They're taking water from everywhere they can, trying to put out the flame to make sure it doesn't spread. You guys are able to quickly get out of the castle grounds and make your way back to the hideout with uh, nobody noticing you. Um, and in fact, yeah, the crumble, as you make your way through the city streets, you- I want to, can I, when I, did I get to the hideout or not? Nah? Yes, you are able to make it to the hideout okay. with no interruption. Sweet. Okay, I get there first. I'm going to start preparing my plan. Uh, so I get my box, my special box with the little compartment yeah. down there. I grab that. I put some felt in the bottom compartment. I grab the rat, put the rat in there, in the bottom one. And I put the, the I give it the little caps. I, well, no, I won't give it the capsule yet, because if I give it the capsule, he'll blow up. But we're waiting for that. Well, only when the, the trigger is activated. Oh, sweet. So I give him the capsule. And then I um, I put the stone in the top part of the compartment. And then I close up the hidden compartment so they can't see the rat. And since there's felt in there, all the scratching can't be heard. And then um, I'm just going to close up the box and get ready to collect my money. And, like, as you are getting ready to turn around and leave the place with your box, that's when the rest of the crew is able to make it inside. And... Want 5,000 gold? Are you, are you talking to us? Yep, talking to you. Come on, let's go. 5,000 gold. <laughs> I mean, if you're giving it away for free, sure. Pretty much. Come on. And as right. you make your way out, you you have the sneaking suspicion that they're going to be at a particular um, high-end... What the frick is that? A hotel. I'm so stupid right now. Uh, there's this Again. particular high-end hotel where a lot of um, outer-towners or questionable individuals like to spend their time. And sure enough, you go in and you actually notice there is one of the all individuals that kind of flanked you. And as you enter, you actually notice it was a goblin. In fact, there are Two goblins sitting side by side. One with an incredibly long trench coat. And the other one's and a that, short stack. And the one, the other one just kind of <laughs> sitting there in, you know, nice clothes. But they're, they're actually, like, playing cards with some other people who are sitting around. There, there's a couple playing. Um, one of the goblins, the, the one who's wearing the very large trench coat, kind of... Notices you. Tell your boss Already? to get down here. He could use the exercise. <laughs> and uh, he... Ooh. He kind of whistles. I, I don't want to do it. 
I do it. But he whistles to the other guy. But, uh, he's a lackey. He stands up on the chair onto the shoulders of the other goblin who hurts him off to um, stairs and they end up going upstairs. And after... As we're waiting, Kithmet's going to take his staff and tap uh, uh, Maldo's peg leg. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. He looks at him. Uh, we're going to have a talk about that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't um, steered you wrong before. He just taps it again. A- uh, after a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he just like is locking eyes with him like the whole time while we're waiting. I'm just like uncomfortably just like <laughs> sipping on like a mug of ale, just like not making eye contact at all. <laughs> just like beads of sweat dripping down my face. <laughs> Wait, I forget. Did you did you promise him your peg leg? I yeah. promised him my peg leg. <laughs> you just did the, you did the highest. Um, uh, yet yeah, oh. we're in public. You guys are waiting. Big cards. This they've got like a magic imbued elevator, and as it to the to the ground floor, it opens up and. Uh, there are now four goblins. The two that you saw earlier, the one had to take off his trench coat and a couple of others, and they are pushing this cart. It is literally, like, cart to hold the incredibly fat goblin. is being rolled along off in a cigar. You wake me up. Money oh, first. In the Money first. I've got your rock. Give it to him. And one of the goblins, he was actually carrying a little chest, and he opens it up, and sure enough, there is tons of platinum in it. Can I grab, like, one of the platinum coins? Just yeah. one. I grab... Do, do any of the goblins have, like, you know how the how vests have, like, front pocket? Uh, yeah. I put one in the front pocket, and just like, this is a little test I do every time someone gives me money. You see, I need you to stand real still. I just tell the goblin who's... I just give him a platinum. I just need him to tell... I, I tell him to stand real still. I'm like, hey, you do this, I'll let you keep that. So, here's the thing. Platinum, the funny thing. Platinum is really hard to steal because it's heavy. It's real dense. It's actually denser than the bullets I use in this gun. Meaning, platinum can take a bullet. But a fake. <laughs> <laughs> you just pop the guy. No, I pop him in the. Hopefully, I can. I. I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, you like, like miss and just like hit him in the face. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, that make, make him. I rolled really high. I rolled the, the highest I can roll without a natural twenty. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, so you hear, and it, that ping. It would still hurt and, like hell. It would still hurt. Yeah, like wouldn't he got, like even yeah. still get forced back? He like, would get forced. He would. Yeah. He would. He yeah. would end up like, boom, just down to the ground. He wasn't expecting it, and, um. You can actually hear uh, the card game has stopped. And, oh, great. Is it real? Um, Is it real? It, it takes a moment, but... Uh, no, he's like fucking dead. <laughs> he's dead. The, the, go- the goblin shakily bolt reaches into his pocket and pulls out a platinum piece, and the bullet is just like imprinted into like into a flat. Congratulations. Pleasure doing business with you. Here's your box. Here's your rock. I just give him the box. And he, he's just instantly pulling open that lid. Yeah. His greedy little fingers. Yeah, he just... This, okay, he has the box in his hands? He oh, yeah, yeah. He, he's right. got it like, on his lap. I just do yeah. this. Everyone, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's start walking um, out. Start walking out. I, start I, walking I, out. I leave my table. And this man looks where like, I'm kind of confused. Like, where are we going? We're going. And we're just leaving. Where, Come on, guys. Where it's like Jester sitting... after tricking the witch. We gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah, yeah. like speed walking. <laughs> yeah, speed walking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna follow. I just elbow, I elbow, uh, Maldo. Hey, um, <laughs> can you uh just randomly look? Uh, you know, I I just really like satisfying noises. You know, it's not just one of the most satisfying sounds ever. Buttons being pressed. Can you just press that button on your trigger just randomly? Just, uh, just press it. I, I would, but I'm still carrying some of these. What? Okay. Oh, can you just like? Oh, hey. Um, 
I'll, 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 be, I'll be right back. Just dump uh, him. Yeah, just dump him. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go. I'm going to go back to my table seat and I'm going to grab a plate. I'm going to put all my muffins on a plate and write a note that says, Pleasure doing business with you. And I'm going to walk out. <laughs> Wait. Because, uh, hey, like, this, this guy's a rotund goblin. He likes muffins. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, now I'm going to leave. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit, hit this little button. I don't know why, but <laughs> I hit the button. With that, then, you uh, just hear um, the a massive explosion. You guys were a little closer to this one, and so you you can just hear the uh, flame. Get, like, rocked engulf, a bit, like. Yeah, and you, you just feel the the movement of the building, the front panes of glass being blown out and scattering across the street, doors coming off their hinges, and the screams of people inside. Um, and you, you, you were guys when you guys were exiting. Uh, particular Maldo, he was chuckling to himself. Um, he actually... <laughs> we blew up the mafia. Because <laughs> what yep. he says, like, kind of turning, looking at... Yeah, at all of us are just <laughs> staring in shock to horror. Crumble's got this big evil smile. No, and I, 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 I take out a cigar, I just grab my share... I grab my share and I'm just I'm I'm leaving. I'm going north. I'm gonna go enjoy the beach. Farewell, everybody. We were just in there. What happened? Oh, uh, some, he must have he must have eaten something. He must have eaten uh, something he shouldn't have. Passed some gas. You know these things happen. All right, everyone, farewell. And, and, uh, I just lost the explosion. I didn't even know about. You're welcome. <laughs> That's so unfair. I know. <laughs> Explosions on my thing! Hey, I'm not done with you! And I'm just gonna, like, follow him off into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> just chasing after him. Uh, I believe Kithmit would follow after him. <laughs> oh, I just, peg I, leg. Like, stays for a second, and then he realizes he didn't get the peg leg. And then he turns, looking towards where they were going, and he's just, like, running after him now. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm still telling... My tailing. peg leg, he says, in Malvo's <laughs> voice. <laughs> I, I'm still secretly tailing Kithmit, so I'm gonna start following him. Oh. <laughs> the mystery continues, and I'm bored, so I'm just gonna follow. <laughs> and so you each have a thousand. Does Zest now? like turn and realize his alley's gone? So he's like, I gotta go somewhere else now. That's what I'm gonna follow. <laughs> Yeah, for the most part, I think, like, the fire cut probably went over to the alley side. <laughs> but it took all the water out of the alley, so it's not cool anymore. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So well, there you go. I guess that's it. All right. Uh, until hey! until the next misadventure yeah. with these characters. I don't know what the D&D equivalent of Long Beach, California is, but since my vacation got canceled in real life, might as well take it in the game. Hell yeah. <laughs> Well, that was fun. Good job. That was Art. awesome, guys. Nice. Hey, Woo! thank First you very much. All the yeah. Yeah. Campaign we, we, did it. we finally yeah. did it. The one shot Hell is over. Yeah. The one shot is done. The longest Our one, one shot. shot. Uh, uh, that was awesome. And all of us walk into the sunset. Not at all better people. <laughs> with tons <laughs> more money. Tons with, more money. With Killed the prince. <laughs> Destroyed the mafia. <laughs> oh hell yeah, we're doing great. We're doing great, guys. We're level right. 100 bosses now. Yeah, <laughs> like mafia yep, pretty much. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, that was awesome. I I really want to thank you guys for just like coming together to like make this possible, and I really want to thank like the fans. Like, there was yeah. a big turnout for this, like a lot bigger than like I expected it would be, and like that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, you, so like fans, they really help make this happen. It, it's astounding how many people are like, "Yep, we're here to watch this," and oh, it's longer than one session. Awesome, we're gonna check out the rest of the episodes. I was really happy to see the amount of fan art that we've been getting. Yeah, of <laughs> either like our avatars or like our our characters in the game. There's been some really good stuff. I know 
I know Novotonix made some stuff. I know there's a couple other people yep. on the discords that have made some really cool Someone stuff. Someone made like a really like yeah. shit post big chungus version of Kronk and I, I love it. I saw that. <laughs> that was so cursed. good. It was so yeah. good. But uh, yeah. Uh, we got to keep doing this. This was awesome. Mm-hmm. I'm, I mean, I'm excited. We can like switch up uh, all, all like new characters. We could take shifts with like the who's DMing and like uh, we could change up games where like we could play like Blades in the Dark, Call of Cthulhu, Pathfinder. Just like the possibilities are endless for this channel. So like I'm excited to like move forward with you guys and pick up some new content creators, get them on the team. Yeah. yeah. And like I'm super excited. Like the sky's the limit with for Dice Goblins. You guys are awesome. And I'm so glad this was able to happen. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this went yeah. really well. Yeah, guys. Appreciate it, man. The- the scheduling aspect was a challenge. Hopefully, we can we can improve oh, on Jesus. that. But oh, that's yeah. the real. Yeah. We all cover the RPG real, horror the real stories. That's the real true. Yeah. The yeah. true RPG horror story. But real, scheduling. real quick before we sign off, uh, we discussed it right before we went li- or went to recording today. Um, we're going to be recording a. Or we're going to be doing a live stream, just sort of a follow yes. up. Uh, basically, a live gobsmacked where uh, hopefully we can take questions from anyone you know chatting in. Uh, about you know their thoughts on what happened in the campaign, how we did our characters, how artificial uh, you know expanded upon what should have been a two-hour <laughs> one-shot into like an eight-hour <laughs> mini campaign, and, and and you know how that went, or if you want to you know just ask us general questions. So uh, look forward to that. I think once we've once we've been able to work out what time we can do that, we'll all just post it to our own like um, our own discussion pages and l- let you all know. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll keep you posted. Yeah, All right, everyone. Yep, I think that's a good place to sign off. Farewell. Right, well. Have a good All night. All right. Bye, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Night, everyone. Bye. Thanks, Night, everyone.